This segment is designed to give you a closer look into public relations, an area which is closely tied to marketing, but has some subtle and significant differences. I'm sure many of you will be familiar with the term PR, but if you're anything like my friends or family, you may not have a detailed understanding of exactly what it means. So, by the end of this clip, you should hopefully have all three of the following. A, a better understanding of what PR means, B, some insight into how our PR campaigns are planned and what they are designed to achieve, and C, most importantly of all for you, recognize how you can get involved and maximize your exposure at exhibitions through the power of communication. As mentioned, public relations is all about getting the key messages about your products and services in front of the people who are most likely to buy them. Put simply, these messages include answers to important questions such as, what makes your company so great? Why should both existing customers and new clients alike do business with you? And how can you save or make customers money? You've already put yourself in the shop window by taking part in an exhibition. So why not make that window as large as possible? PR can help you do this. These goals can be achieved by communicating information to the market through the right channels. The aim of our campaign is to raise awareness of the event by building the show's brand through targeted media coverage. This will drive visitor numbers whilst educating audiences about the core themes and new features at the show. Like all good plans, the campaign has a beginning, a middle and an end, each with various elements. The start of the campaign will see core information about the show distributed, what, when, where, who and why. The middle of the campaign is really where we'd like to hear from you the most. Journalists will always be interested in learning about new product launches, interesting demonstrations, and insight from experts on industry issues. So always be aware of how you can get involved with these strands. These can all be woven into our pre-show press materials and will help to promote both your presence at the show and the business itself. Whilst at the show, remember not to underestimate the impact of social media. Journalists monitor tools such as Twitter to source news stories, so make sure to let us know about any events or briefings you have planned. In conjunction with photography and videography, which we can supply, these all make for great social media posts and increase your chances of grabbing the attention of journalists. Other on-site news hooks that work well are stories around any deals you may close, a perfect way to shout about how successful your show has been. Quotes of this nature can also be incorporated into our show reviews, which make up the bulk of the end stage of the campaign. This provides a platform for you to promote how you found the show, who you met, to discuss the positive meetings you had, and the knowledge you gained. So hopefully there will have been some useful tips here that have given you some food for thought as far as marketing and PR are concerned. Whilst we understand there's an awful lot for you to focus on at a busy trade show, it's important to appreciate that these opportunities are all free they only require a modest investment of time and effort. When put to use correctly, however, these simple tools can help to turn a good show into a great one. We look forward to seeing you at the NEC in September, and of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.